The purpose of this video is to help you open and view ArcLayer packages in particular, as well as KMZ files, shapefiles and geodatabases downloaded from the Marine Scotland Interactive web pages hosted on the Scottish Government website. In order to view the layer packages, you will need to download ArcGIS Explorer. I've already done this, I have it open down here, and the version that I've downloaded is Build 1500. I have also downloaded a series of uh, files from the Marine Scotland Interactive web pages. Um, I have some geodatabases uh, files, uh, some KMZ files, a layer package file, and a shapefile package as well. And these have all been stored onto my hard drive. When you open ArcGIS Explorer, it will ask you if you want to use the software as a default for viewing uh, KMZ KML files, and I chose not to use it as the default. When it opens, it will um, bring into the main uh, viewing window a base map, and there are various base maps that you can choose from, depending on what is most appropriate for what you want to show, but I'm going to stick with the default base map. You can navigate around the map um, using a touchpad on your laptop, which allows you to pan around and zoom in and out, or using a three-button mouse, and similarly you can left-click and drag, or you can zoom in or out using the track wheel. Okay. You can also see that uh, there is a lot of functionality associated with uh, ArcGIS Explorer, and that functionality will change depending upon the file that you're looking at at that time. Now, in order to introduce information into ArcGIS Explorer, in particular ArcGIS layer packages, you can go to Add Content, and you'll see that there are a, a variety of different file formats that can be viewed using ArcGIS Explorer, one of which is the ArcGIS layers option which uh, allows you to view layer packages. Now there are lots of uh, layer packages that are available on the Marine Scotland Interactive uh, web pages. So as an example, I'm going to click on that file and that will open up in the contents uh, section of the window and it zooms straight to the full extent of that file and that's clearly the bathymetry file for the Pentland Firth. I'm also going to open up some KML files. It takes a couple of seconds for these to open up. Uh, one of the really useful features about ArcGIS Explorer is that it retains all the functionality of the KMZ files that we have uh, available on the MSI website. Um, so effectively what you can see in Google Earth is exactly what you can see within ArcGIS Explorer. I'll open up a shapefile. This is the Scottish Wind Awards. These are the potential sites for development within uh, Scottish Territorial Waters for Offshore Wind. And they're highlighted in yellow. And lastly, you can also open geodatabases. And this will be uh, a separate video on how to use geodatabases in our GIS Explorer. But they're easy to introduce. There we go, they're all in. So underneath the contents bar, you can see all the different layers that have been introduced. Now, some of these layer names don't mean a great deal, but if you expand them, you'll see that the sublayer carries the layer name. Now, you can alter the top layer name by right clicking on it and go into Rename. I'm not going to do that now, but you could rename it with the name given underneath. You can order the sequence of the layers so that you get the best view of all the layers using Manage Layers. And here you can click on one of the uh, layers and move it up and down relative to the other layers. This stops any chance of, say, a large map masking any of the uh, other maps underneath it. The layer package that we brought in, I'm going to double click on the bathymetry layer, there we go. And you can see this is quite a, a large map, this is in the uh, bottom of the sequence of maps, and will sit behind all the other layers. So if you wanted to introduce a legend, you can right click on the layer package, go to show legend, 
and it brings in a very useful legend that shows you the uh, depths and the colors that represent those depths. The functionality for the um, uh, KMZ files is, is retained as I mentioned earlier. So for example, the spreadsheet seabed layer allows you to see all of the video footage that we have collected in support of offshore renewables within Scottish waters. They're still geographically grouped. You can open up the group, see the individual toes within there, and zoom to one of the layers. And there you go. And if I click on that, you get the same bowl box uh, as you would within Google Earth. It shows the um, window that links into the photographs stored on Picasa, and a three-minute video clip that's stored on our YouTube website. Close that there. Shrink that. Once you've opened all these uh, layers and got them ordered in the uh, sequence that you want them, you can then save this by clicking on the globe in the top left hand corner I'm going to save as and let's come through a bit quickly let's go back to file save as so I could save it as a brand new map and give it a name and then I can open the map when I come back into ArcGIS Explorer or I could save it as my default map so that every time um, when ArcGIS Explorer opens up it will bring in automatically all these layers uh, as well. Either way, what you're doing is saving these layers so that you don't have to download them again. You don't have to resequence them again in terms of their order of appearance. So I'm just going to save mine as my default map and go to Yes. Introducing layers into ArcGIS Explorer is really easy. Um, it also comes with a great deal more of fun uh, functionality than Google Earth, uh, some of which I'll discuss in um, another video uh, that specifically looks at the use and application of geodatabases.